Hey, this is the captain here. We're here with uh, Big Jesus Truck 2013 here in Holland. Got my Los Cabo shotguns. As you can see, we're, uh, we're here at our villa. Uh, we've been doing a couple of takes here. People around here have seen this, and people have actually had me signing napkins and some shit. Even one guy just blew his nose and had me sign his handkerchief. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with people. Anyhow, so um, one of the things I'm going to do is I get asked a lot about a lot of the stick tricks and stuff I do. And uh, what I always tell people is I can't play, so I actually have to do something to distract them from the fact that my drumming sucks so bad. So um, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few of the things I do. Now, I actually learned to uh, twirl the sticks long before I ever played drums. You know, I just bought a pair of sticks and started doing this. You know, it's a standard twirl that everybody does. Um, Tommy Allard is one of my favorite drummers, and he did uh, uh, this uh, kind of a figure eight type pattern between his three fingers. I wasn't actually able to do the Tommy Aldridge, so I kind of made up my own. Kind of looks cool when you get them both and go a little bit higher. So that's that's one of them. Uh, another one is you take it between the three fingers here, just like that, and you just twirl up and catch, just like that. See? There you go. And then you can go forward too. Put the index finger backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, just like that. Another one that I like to do is one I call the Gunslinger. It's kind of influenced with the old Clint Eastwood, you know, he pulled the gun out, spin it around, so you just spin it there, just like that. It's really not all that great from behind the kit, because a lot of people kind of miss it, right? But every now and then I'll get up on the cymbal and act like I'm blowing the stick around, something like that. Sometimes it goes over, sometimes it doesn't. And then, you know, there's the all, always popular, you know, balance it on your, on your head there. I do that one. So some of the tosses that I do... I do this one that I, I like, uh, it's a figure eight type pattern where I actually throw it up, yeah, so you get kind of a little helicopter motion there, right? Just like that, yeah. And then what I actually did is I actually came up with something else where I actually catch it, traditional grip, right? And then I spin out of it. Catch, traditional, spin out of it. So when you do it fast motion, it works. So if you're playing, you're spinning, you're catching just like that, and then you're back down, okay? Uh, another one is just, you know, just one rotation like that. Not a big deal. So then what I did is I actually started catching it like this with that twirl we did before. So toss, catch, twirl out of it. Toss, twirl out of it. Okay, so then both those together, do that one, then up, then out. Okay? Did you see that? Yep. I don't know. Anyhow. Uh, then I got the ones, you know, where you're doing the tosses, you know, between the legs, stuff like that. Um, you know, stuff like that. Now, one of my favorites, especially when we play the venues that have the really, really high ceilings, is, uh, you know, I like to throw the stick up as high as I can. I can normally do a drum fill, go all around where I'm filling that up. So, it goes a little something like this. 